Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks, where I can guarantee you that this is going to be one drunk night. Yep. One Drunk Night is a card game and a storytelling game, and I have a story to tell you. Once upon a time, a man wanted a beer. Did he want big doinks beer? <laughs> you bet! Because <laughs> that's what I got. Once upon a time, a woman wanted a big doink. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a story I like to hear. This is an extra dank IPA, 6.5%. So it's a dank doink. That dank doink's got quite a head on it. You're in a tizzy. <laughs> it sure is dank. Oh, it's very dank. That is very dank. It's heavy. It's a heavy doink. This episode is sponsored by the makers of One Drunk Night. Thanks, guys. Can I give a shout out to my nephew? Your nephew? Is he watching? watching? He always watches. Oh, that's does he? Huge. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. Well, he must have a cool aunt then, right? You know. Well, right. right. Like your nephew's at school. Like my aunt was on beer and board games. Oh wait, <laughs> I can't tell you about that because I'm underage. Actually, he's 29. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Sean. So you start out with seven cards, beginning, middle, end. One person starts as the storyteller. They're gonna draw a beginning card and they're gonna read it out loud. Everyone will submit one of their cards. They can either submit a middle or an end card. Now, if the storyteller chooses the middle card, that person gets to keep it, and that's a point, and the story continues. If the storyteller chooses an end card, that ends the story, and that player gets two points. Justin and I were bargain shopping in a Goodwill dumpster. The next step in the story could be, so I changed my name and moved to the other side of the city. Please don't tell anyone you saw me. I sensed I was about to get beaten. <laughs> <laughs> or, and so began a Mexican standoff. I gotta go with beaten. Uh, that was okay. mine. So now it continues. You're gonna draw back up to seven, and then everyone's gonna hand me another card. I offered up my unnatural male enhancement pills, <laughs> which made me wonder what baby Jesus would do in this situation. Or to end the story, so that's why my doctor now makes me carry the little pink pills. Wait, two pills cards. I'm gonna that's go with baby Jesus. That's your Linda suit? again. Yeah. Linda's yeah. telling Linda this whole is just story. Killing it. Which made me wonder what baby Jesus would do in this situation with a bone protruding out of his arm. <laughs> <laughs> or the end. It didn't turn out well for me, but it was a satisfying way to learn some life lessons. Mm. Or another end. It was a religious experience. Now I accept Jesus as my Lord. That's the end of the story. Yeah, 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 you, got that <laughs> you got two points. Is that? And Linda also gets two points. Yay. Oh man. Nice. He's the storyteller now. Right. Okay. I got kicked out of Walmart, but was doing a half-assed job, and I was lonely while in the middle of a shotgun wedding in Walmart. I like that one in Walmart. That's thematically appropriate. Yes. <laughs> but my narcolepsy got the better of me, and I passed out right where I was, or, and I realized impossibly that I was going into labor. <laughs> yes. Yes. And right. here's the next one. And the kicker. I got goosebumps and squealed like a 10 year old girl. <laughs> <laughs> but security was everywhere and it wasn't exactly on their good side. Or that's when I heard gunshots. <laughs> I'm glad you're getting good cards because I'm not getting good cards. So, Walmart, shotgun wedding, labor, guns. Turns out that adventure knocked three items off my bucket list in one night. <laughs> <laughs> three items on the bucket list. That's, That's the good. end. That's the end. Did I ever tell you about the time my teacher spanked me? Which is probably legal somewhere. We went back to my place to bump uglies. Oh, <laughs> oh, whoa. I played along because I assumed this was the start of some obscure drinking game. I'm gonna go with the drinking game. Oh, yeah. that's good. Damn. The live studio audience started booing. <laughs> I probably should have told him I have herpes. I have to say the end card. I think the, herp oh, I think, I think I think the herpes clearly won. Herpes clearly wins. I don't know who Jimmy Hoffa is. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. You, no, don't. Don't, know, you no. don't know who anybody is. <laughs> what about Geraldo Rivera? Do you know who he is? Nope. All right. Nope. Who's the lead singer of Nirvana? 
Do no go, idea. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> one drunk night makes for one hell of a fun night. And they have a Kickstarter going on right now. You can go over there, check it out, contribute. You can get your own copy of this game, and you can have fun. That's right, you in your own home. I had to do something really awkward today. Oh. I had to do something really awkward today after I stabbed my coworker. <laughs> Luckily, I always carry a hidden camera. I had to do something really awkward today and now it burns when I pee. <laughs> I really want to know what happens, uh, what happened with the coworker, so I'm going with the coworker. After I stabbed my coworker, everywhere. <laughs> which I didn't think was a mistake at the time. <laughs> but then Jeff showed up with this 24-inch dildo. Classic Jeff. But honestly, I did it all for the nookie. I will never be able to repress these memories, so I do my best to drown them in alcohol. I'm gonna take the ending, but honestly, I did it all for the nookie. Yes. <laughs> and okay, I'm gonna pick a beginning from the dirty deck. I awoke <laughs> naked, lying next to a handcuffed and gagged Donald Trump. Oh! At least he was gagged. <laughs> During Mardi Gras, and this little kid was bugging me about his missing mother. <laughs> oh. Fortunately, I had the Vatican's exorcism hotline on speed dial. Uh, uh, Matt on the toilet. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess. I'm gonna go with the simpler one. I'm gonna say During Mardi Gras. Mm. All right. Oh. Shit, I don't know during Mardi Gras as my family watched. I got two endings here, and I contracted yet another STD. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the winner. Yay! Oh my Yay! god. <laughs> Never end up naked with Donald Trump. No. That is a bad idea. Let's do a scoring update. I only have two points. I have six points. I have six points. Two, four, I have seven. Whoa! Oh my god. My friends came over for a game of Russian roulette. I snuck into the nearest manhole. <laughs> then my face went pale, my hands started shaking, and I realized I didn't know what I was doing. I won't go into the details of what happened next, but when I woke, I was completely covered in splooge. <laughs> Russian roulette with no guns. <laughs> I like these, this game a lot. Yeah. So's your mom. Yo mama. Yo mama hanging upside down. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What does that mean? That's absurd. So I went to a rave for the first time. I was definitely possessed and in need of a bitch slap. And I felt like being an asshole. Yeah. And that clown from my ninth birthday party was still following me. Oh, <laughs> uh, I gotta do, and I felt like being an asshole. Yeah. I wanna know why. And I felt like being an asshole whose chest hair was surprisingly smooth. <laughs> and I noticed a giant red button that said, don't push. I pushed it. I uh, gotta go with the red button. Just yeah. I wanna know what happens. Yeah. My heart goes out to those who didn't survive. And blah, 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 <laughs> some bad stuff happened. <laughs> and now sex just feels lifeless. Was <laughs> that the end? After I pushed the red button. Oh, I like and blah, 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 some bad stuff yes. happened. So we're gonna keep the story going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And blah, 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 some bad stuff happened. And I arose in a tomb three days later. <laughs> and you know, I'm always down for an impromptu fight. I arose in a tomb three days later. Believe it or not, Hollywood is even making an after-school special about it. From rave to tomb. <laughs> the Aaron Yonda story. <laughs> Which caused the demon to leave my body. Believe it or not, Hollywood made an after-school special about it. Oh, Yay! Right. I think I heard the pitter-patter of little feet. Hey, everybody! Hey, Hi, Cookie. Cookie. Hi, Cookie. It's nice Hi, to see you. How are you doing? I'm feeling real proud. What are you proud of, Cookie? But the, the, last weekend I decided to do some traveling. I went down to Chicago, home of the brewers, uh, and complicated hot dogs. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. And I saw the big gay pride parade. Oh, you did? But... Yeah. Them gays know how to have fun. <laughs> yes, I, I'd have to agree. That's a hell of a party. Now. I loved it. They was dancing around, shaking it. Uh-huh. Them men's had their asses hanging out. Uh-huh. And that shit was tight. I saw one of them buttocks. I threw a quota at it. Uh -huh. And two dimes and a nickel came back. <laughs> <laughs> That's how tight that shit was. All them ladies had their titties hanging out. Uh-huh. Looked like a lunch buffet to me. <laughs> what? I'm hungry just oh. thinking about it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I'm sorry, Cookie. You were hungry. I get it. Yeah, yeah. you get it. You a doctor. <laughs> always drink your milk. I always do. Sometimes from unsuspected sources. <laughs> anyway, I love the Pride Parade. I'm gonna go every year. And you don't wear pants either. But the, the, that's another thing I like about them gays. <laughs> the kindred spirits. <laughs> they both know what it's like to let it all hang out. I've been toning. Look Very at that. Good. You know what? I bet if we bounce the quarter off of that, something might happen. <laughs> <laughs> it might get stuck. <laughs> Happened to me once I had to go to a doctor. But you know, one day, there, a long time ago, he was a baby Koki. <laughs> I get it. We're kindred spirits, you and I. Yeah, you and me and the gays. <laughs> All under one massive rainbow. Roy G. Biv. I saw Roy at the parade. He was wearing nipple clamps. Oh my goodness. He's fun. <laughs> This has been fun, but I gotta okay. go. Bye, Cookie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Cookie. continue knitting my rainbow quilt. It's a very verbose infant. Bye, Bye Cookie. Bye, Cookie. Uh, hi, Cookie. Uh, you're you're back. That is not my name. I'm a different baby. My name is Baby Laguardia. <laughs> what? Hey, give me your pin number. <laughs> Wait. Is this another non-millennial reference? I want your bank information. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Yeah. Uh. What is your pin number? When will you be naked? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's me. Yeah. Okay. Blondie put me up to it. <laughs> okay. Thank God. She called me on the phone and said, I want to play a trick on my boyfriend. <laughs> and I said, I'm in. But it'll cost you. And if I don't get that four dollars, it's gonna be trouble. Okay, Cookie, I'm not exactly sure what the trick was, but I'm glad you got a chance to play it. Baby LaGuardia? <laughs> Who is that, Cookie? I was told that you knew. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, I get these weird phone calls now and then asking me for personal information. Uh, I think that might be someone you know. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, well, Bye. I'm sorry this didn't turn out better. <laughs> Okay, bye. I want bye, my four dollars. So, for the benefit of our home audience, perhaps you'd like to talk about what just happened. Baby LaGuardia has called me repeatedly, asking me for my social security, credit card numbers, whatever, and she'll accept whatever information I give her. It doesn't even matter. Literally, never expected to hear the words "Baby LaGuardia" come out of your mouth ever. That was really stunning. It's a good thing I checked my texts today. I have two occasions when I feel like justice was served, and it was when I, both of them involved raking leaves. I think it was about 17. I was hired to rake leaves for, the first time was for a rich person, the second time was for a famous author. Okay. And I was really slow. You didn't I rake fully, leaves for Neil Gaiman. Uh, no, I raked leaves for Jackie Machard. Machard. Before that, for a rich person in my neighborhood when I was a teenager. She lived in Menominee too? Why no, you Jackie always... Machard lived in Madison. This was when oh. I was 23. I was too slow because I didn't really know what I was doing. I was like... So you were raking bad. Yeah. Ah! But unfortunately, I got fired both times, and that was justice being served because I was terrible at raking leaves. Oh. Just so I can understand, there's like the rake. And there's yeah. like... The leaves. Yeah. Where, where does the science come in here? Where, where does it, where does it, where does it get difficult? He was like, eh, eh. you were clearly the adult who could rake leaves, oh, yeah. who couldn't rake leaves, <laughs> couldn't rake leaves. They were really big I yards. I think it was an unreasonable. They were really big. It was yards. an unreasonable time oh allowance God. I was given to rake all the leaves. They rake I wasn't you a over professional. I just had one rake and me. But you know, I got fired. No more leak, ray, leak rafing. If you go to patreon.com slash beer and board games and contribute at the $5 level, you can get access to our giant massive back catalog of live streams from over the years. Unedited, uncensored, and all fun. How young Hold do you on. think I was, by the way? I thought you were probably like 25. Oh God, Asians don't age. How old do you think I am? 41. White people don't age. <laughs> the size does not matter. Oh, whoa. Well, so you're saying size doesn't matter. You're saying you've only been satisfied by a big dick. 
<laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> you brought it up. You introduced I this like shit. Big donks. <laughs> and I. Mean, <laughs> Dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Dirty south, dirty, dirty. Can y'all really feel me? East coast, feel me. West coast, feel me. Look at this. To the dirty know, south. Right? He's busting it loose. Look, I loved Aaliyah before she died. We should all do, we start with one beginning card and everybody has seven end cards. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Let's do all end cards. Yeah, all end cards. That's a good yeah. idea. That's a great yeah, idea. Yeah. On my way to the abortion clinic. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Oh no! Luckily, we all survived. <laughs> On my way to the abortion clinic, I immediately boarded a plane to where the fuck ever and disappeared into a relative obscurity. I kind of love that. Oh man. On my way to the abortion clinic, it turns out there was actually an app to assist. But I couldn't afford the 99 cents. Oh no, you're gonna watch up those microtransactions. You know what, I have to say, if there is an abortion app. <laughs> I'm sure I got is. it, I That's got it. That's terrible. Point eight. 12, I beat you. God damn it. They're Jesus. taking forever to 18. land all those up. 17! Yeah! You and me and the gays. Asian glow, it is an enzyme deficiency that makes it that, so that alcohol is toxic to your body. A lot of Asians can't process alcohol, so we get glowy, this red. It also increases your risk of colon cancer. Well, so Matt keep on buying those shots. Here's, the colon, <laughs> here's to my colon cancer. And Matt will be checking your colon later with this key. Oh gosh. <laughs> Stop squirming. <laughs>